now let's solve now problems on logarithms exponential functions and trigonometric so we'll be coming to this level now okay and solve some problems on derivatives on these functions <coughs> fx is equal to lin of x okay we know that so f dash or f stroke x is we know that logarithm functions it is equal to the derivative of that function upon that function so this is equal to derivative of x is 1 and upon that function that is 1 of x. So answer is answer of L lin of x is 1 upon x. Okay. This is the this is the rule we are applying. So the derivative of that function, the derivative of that function, this is the function f x, which is this is the function f x. So derivative of x is 1 upon that function f x, which is x. Okay. Let's do another one. Function of x is lin of x squared plus 1. So, derivative of this function is, this can be written as y, this can also be written as y stroke. So, lin of this function, so this becomes a function fx. So, derivative of this function is 2x, 2x plus 0. So, that is 2x upon that function. x squared plus 1 is the function. So, this is the answer. Let's see another one y is equal to lin of x squared minus 2x. So, derivative of this function y is, this is the function. So, derivative of this function is 2x minus 2 upon that function itself. Okay. Is that clear? Let's see this one. y is equal to x squared lin of x. Now, we see that this is a product of two functions. So, there is a logarithm function here, there is an algebraic function here and plus it is a product rule. So, these are the three things we will apply. So, we will apply it one by one. So, we say it is the first function into the derivative of the or d dx. We can write it in the long form d dx of L, lin of x plus lin of x into d dx of x squared. So, this is how you write. You can skip this step and write it straight away here. It will be x squared into the derivative of lin x. This is just for explanation sake that we are writing this one and we are writing this one applying the product rule. But you can skip, you can skip this step and come straight to this step. So it is x squared into derivative of lin of x is 1 by x plus lin of x into derivative of x squared is 2x. So derivative of x squared is 2x. Okay. So, this and this cancels. So, we are left with x plus 2x lin of x. So, it is not necessary to write this step at all if you understand the product rule. But if you want to write, it's okay just to show that you have applied the product rule here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see this one. So, now I will not write the intermediate step here. So, I will just have it like this. The first function into the derivative of the second function that is 1 by x plus the second function into the derivative of the first function that is 2x. Derivative of x squared is 2x. So, this is x plus 2x lin of x. Okay. <clears throat> y is equal to lin of 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, this is the function. So, again, it is a logarithm function. So, derivative of this function is derivative of this function that is 6x, 6x minus 2 upon 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay. Let's see this one, ln lin of x upon x. Now, this is a, we have to apply what rule? The quotient rule. So, it will be x multiplied by the derivative of the numerator 
plus sorry minus the numerator into the derivative of the denominator that is 1 upon the denominator squared. So this and this cancel. So this is 1 minus lin of x upon x squared. Okay. Let's take some examples on a combination of functions. Let's see this one. y is equal to lin of 1 plus x into a to the power x. So now this involves a logarithm function. This involves a a to the power x or an exponential function. Okay. Let's see how to do this. So we'll do this one. So this since this is a function and this is our function fx. So it's possible that we can write this function as a one function 1 plus x into a to the power x. Then find out find out the derivative of this function. The derivative of this function now is a product rule. So it will be 1 plus x into the derivative of a x is a to the power x lin of a plus a to the power x that is the second function into the derivative of the fun first function is 0 plus 1. So it is 1. So we have here a x plus a to the power x lin of a into 1 plus x. Okay. So we now have this one and we know that logarithm of any function is this one that is a to the power x plus a to the power x lin of x into 1 plus x. We have already found out upon this function that is 1 plus x into a to the power x. Since a to the power x is common here, a to the power x is common in the denominator, we can take a to the power x outside. We will be left with 1 plus lin of x into 1 plus x and upon 1 plus x into a to the power x. This will cancel off. So we are left with 1 plus lin of x into 1 plus x upon 1 plus x. Okay. Hope this example is clear to you. Now let's try with something else. Now y is equal to 5 to the power x. This is of the form a to the power x. So derivative of this function is the y to the power x into lin of a. This stands for a. So it is lin of 5. Okay. Let's see another one. y is equal to e to the power 2x minus 3 whole square. Now this is a function and it is e to the power function x. And we have already found out this that e to the power of the function x is e to that same function into the differential of that function. So we will not skip the intermediate step and write it straight away. So this is as it is we have to write 2x minus 3 whole square and we will find out the derivative of this function. So the derivative of this function we can write it like this fx is equal to 2x minus 3 whole square. Now this one is of the form this one fx to the power n. So we can write it as 2 into 2x minus 3 2 minus 1 is 1 and again multiplied by the derivative of this function which is 2x is 2. So we have here 4 into 2x minus 3. So we just multiply this by 4 and 2x minus 3. Okay. So this is how you do. This is a progressive differentiation problem. Okay. So let's see this one e x squared e to the power 2x. Okay. Now you see that this is an exponential function. This is an algebraic function. And we have two functions that is a product of two functions. So Thanks for watching TV Meet in the next lecture.